The Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, South Australia Incorporated, is the professional body representing the specialist interests of auctioneers and appraisers and provides representation for real estate, general and livestock. I'm Gary Top. No. <laughs> Gary Top, I know you're all going to be very sad, but he's lost his voice. <laughs> I know, I know. So, um, Gary Top is uh, the CEO, obviously, and um, proud past president of the society. My name's Sharon Gray, um, immediate past president of the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers. So, thank you. <laughs> and I'm just going to do Gary's little part at the beginning of the evening, and then you'll be rid of me. I'm proud to be associated with the society and have been for many years as a board member as before I was um, president. We're honoured tonight to have the following guests. The Honourable John Darley, MLC, who has been a great help with the recent review of the real estate legislation. Thank you, John. The Shadow Minister for Education, Mr David Bassoni, MP, a great supporter of our school's auction idol, which was on this week. Those of you that got there, it was absolutely sensational. The Head of Retail Banking from Bank SA, Matt Jansen. From News Australia SA, Ish Davies, David Perrins, Bill Dumu, Rachel Hancock, and I think there's some other Bank SA people here as well. And um, mess uh, Messenger, no, News Australia. I knew I was going to do that. The Executive Director of the Housing Industry Association, Mr Robert Harding. The CEO of the Institute of Conveyances, Geoffrey Adam. The Mayor of Port Adelaide and Enfield, Mr Gary Johansson, always good fun. The current Austral Australasian winner from Auckland, New Zealand, Mr Daniel Colson, if you get a chance to have a chat with Daniel. An Australasian judge and great friend of the society from Launceston, Tasm Tasmania, Mr Michael Walsh, also really good fun. We met last year. Good on you, Michael. Who's recently introduced our school's auction idol concept into two Launceston grammar schools. So it, it is taking off, hopefully, Australia-wide, but um, Lonnie's been the first one to take up the challenge. Mr Phil McMahon, the inaugural Golden Gavel winner from way back in 1993 when he was just a boy. They're Gary's words. Uh, welcome Michael Fenn, current back-to-back -back Golden Gavel winner. Michael Brock, the inaugural Australasian winner, past president, society, auctioneer and appraisers. Jonathan Moore, Rod Adcock, Lindsay Warner, Phil Rogers, Brett Rowenfelt, Nick Baranico, Wayne Johnson, Mark Ford, Paul Henry, Peter Economou. President of the REI, Mr Greg Moulton and CEO, Mr Greg Troughton. Our head trainer and Hall of Fame winner and recently awarded Order of Australia, Mr Brett Rowenfelt, OAM. Auctioneers and appraisers, guests and friends of the society, welcome everyone. I'll just take a moment to, um, to quickly thank our sponsors who, um, without them, we, we couldn't do events like this evening. Uh, News Australia, South Australia, Bank SA, they are our two major sponsors who um, are obviously key to our running of the society. Key sponsors Bowden Group, Blaze Advertising, Rooms with Style, Optus and Wide for Comms, supported by Skyview eBook Publication System, The Form One Company, Real Estate Institute of South Australia, Courses Solicitors, and of course members, auctioneers and appraisers and guests. Yes, well, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and there they all are. The, celebrating our 21st birthday of the News Australia SA, Bank SA Golden Gavel, is all about showcasing and educating, educating the skills and professionalism of our auctioneers and appraisers. There have been many presidents who have taken the society to new levels, but none so dynamically and dramatically as our sixth president, who turned the society into a dynamic business, produced a training film and created the Golden Gavel to put focus on our auctioneers with the competition and appraisers with what it's worth what, what does that say, Gary? What, what, what it's worth appraiser days. Oh, what it's worth appraiser days. Yes, apparently they were fantastic. So maybe something we could think about again. What it's worth appraiser days, that's what that said. Um, and they were held in, Victor in Victoria Square and at Westlake Shopping Centre. And I refer, of course, to Anthony Toop. Anthony's overseas, but we honoured him with one of the Society's ultimate accolades live on Toop TV the day before he left for Europe. And I think we're going to see it. I hope. Thank you for all your, all your service and your inspiration for the last however many years to our society. We'd like to officially induct you into our 
Hall of Fame on behalf of obviously Paul, myself, and the Society of Irish Hands and Fraser. Well, thank you very much, boys. Gee, that is, um, oh wow, that is, um, I'm not sure whether you can say that or not, but that is some, and, that is some induction, isn't it? Uh, look, for obviously for um, your viewers, Anthony, uh, for those of you that, that, that may not know, of course, Anthony was our president in 1992-93, now that's uh, 20 years ago, so it's uh, quite, uh, um, you know, right that, you know, 20 years on, uh, Hall of Fame. You join only two other uh, recipients of this award, of course, the OAM in Mr. Brett Reinfeldt, and of course the CEO of the Society, the uh, effervescent uh, Gary Toth. So um, only three um, inducted into that Hall of Fame, so uh, it is a great honour. Well, gentlemen, um, yeah, this is uh, very special. Um, I'm almost speechless, to be honest, but um, I'd like to thank you guys very much, and normally I guess this would probably happen in a different environment. So thank you very much. Very thank much you. appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. It's probably not often that Anthony is speechless. <laughs> Anthony's travelled the world for innovation and technology to ensure South Australia is a leader in marketing and negotiating, and we thank him for what he has done for the society, and Anthony's daughters, Genevieve and Susanna, are both here tonight representing the Toop family. So, thank you. I'd just like to um, have a little talk about the school's auction idol. The school's auction idol competition concept um, has evolved after we were given the charter of succession planning by introducing high school students to the real estate industry via the art of auction. It was the initiative of life member of the society, Lindsay Warner, and we acknowledge his dedication and vision to think out of the square. Once again, the society leads Australasia in auction innovation. So just a moment to recognise uh, the work that Lindsay's done for this. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our past Golden Gavel winners for the traditional handing down of the Perpetual Trophy. So if the past winners could please come to the stage. Phil McMahon, 1993. Brett Rowenfelt, you big hog, 94, 95, 96 and 2001. Leo Redden, 98, 99. Oren Clemick, 2002. Rod Adcock, 03, 04 and 08. Lindsay Warner, 2005. Paul Henry, 2006, Phil Harris, 2007, Nick Baranico, 2010, Michael Fenn, 2011 and 12. Oh, the official handing down. As part of tonight's formalities, I'd ask, I'd ask you to witness the delivery of the perpetual trophy by past winners. Please await the bringing forth of the perpetual trophy. <laughs> Again, I didn't write that. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the shot. I dropped this once. <laughs> round of applause. And I think there's a photo op now, all you boys. No, don't go, don't go. There's a photo op somewhere. Where do they have to go, Gary? I wasn't at the rehearsal. Let me get off. Rose amongst the thorns. In order of age. 